Is there, since you speak both languages, is there something that's lost in translation to you? Is there something you can express in Italian that you can't in English and vice versa maybe? Is there um, something you could say to the musicality of the language? I mean, I, mean, I from, I've been to Italy a few times and uh, I'm not sure if it's the actual words, but it's, it's the people are certainly very, um, there's body language too. There's just, the, their whole being is language. <laughs> so I don't know if uh, you miss some of that when you're speaking English in this country. Yes, in fact, actually, I certainly I am uh, I miss it and uh, somehow it was a sacrifice that I made consciously by the time you know I arrived I knew that uh, this I was not going to express myself um, at that level and uh, and it was actual sacrifice because uh, given to you have also your um, mother tongue is Russian so you know that you can be very expressive in your mother tongue and not very expressive in this new tongue. A new yeah. language. And then what people think of you in the new language, because of when the precise of expression of things, it generates, you know, it shows, you know, elegance, or it shows, you know, um, knowledge, or it shows as a census, or it shows as a caste, or education, whatever it is. So all of a sudden, I found myself on the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there, it, it, <laughs> so I had to fight all my way up, back up. And uh, but what I'm saying, I I go yeah, back that's to fascinating, it. right? I, the, the limitations are actually our strength. In fact, is a trick to limit yourself to exceed, right? And you know, there are examples in history. If, if you think about, you know, Hernan Cortez, right? He goes to invade Mexico. He has what a few hundred uh, people with him. And uh, he has a um, hundred thousand people in arms on the other side. First thing he does, he limits himself. He sinks his own ship. There is no return. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and at that point, he actually managed That's really to come profound. up with I, I actually, first of all, that's inspiring to me. <laughs> I feel like I have quite a few limitations, but more practically on the Russian side, I'm going to try to do a couple of really big and really tough interviews in Russian. Uh, once COVID lifts a little bit, I'm traveling to Russia. And I'll keep your advice in mind <laughs> that the limitations is a kind of superpower. We should use it to our advantage because you do feel less, like you're not able to convey your wisdom in, in, in the Russian language. Because I, I moved here when I was 13, so you don't, you know, the parts of life you live under a certain language are the parts of life you're able to communicate. You know, I became, I became a thoughtful, deeply thoughtful human in English. And, but the, the, the pain from World War II, this, the, the music of the people, that was instilled with me in Russian. So I can carry both of those and there's limitations in both. I can't say philosophically profound stuff in Russian, but I can't in English express like that melancholy feeling of like right. the people. And so combining those two, I'll, I'll somehow- oh, beautifully said. <laughs> Thanks for sharing, this is great. Yes, I totally understand you, yes. 